Hi guys! Today I'm gonna test a couple of Hydrain 18650 lithium ion batteries from LG, the HB4 and HB6. They are both rated at 1500 milliamp hours and they both support discharge rates up to 40 amps, so they need to be compared. I'm gonna test them at up to 20 amps because that's the maximum for my battery tester. First let's take a look at my testing equipment and my testing method. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZK ETEC EBC A20, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've also used version 2.5 of my homemade battery holder. It holds a battery like this, or like this. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade, and before each discharging cycle, a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet, and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After discharging cycle, it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery, which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. The LG HB4 cell which I've got has the following marking. LG DA HB4 1865 Q1 93 G124 AC. It has the following specs according to its datasheet. Minimum capacity 1500 mAh. Nominal voltage 3.65 volts. Standard charge current 0.75 amps. Maximum charge current 4 amps. Charge and voltage 4.2 volts. Charge cutoff current. 50 milliamps in case of standard charge and uh, 100 milliamps in case of fast charge. Standard discharge current 0.3 amps. Maximum discharge current 40 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.5 volts. Maximum weight 46.1 grams. The weight of the real cell which I've got is 43.27 grams. At 0.2C or 0.30 amps, LG HB4 gave out 15-14 milliamp hours or 56-66 milliwatt hours. At 5 amp, the result was 14-01 milliamp hours or 49-12 milliwatt hours. At 10 amp, 14-08 milliamp hours or 46-47 milliwatt hours. At 15 amp discharge rate, the result was 14-02 milliamp hours or 43-83 milliwatt hours. At 20 amps it gave out 14.96 milliamp hours or 42.48 milliwatt hours. The LG HB6 cell which I've used in this test has the following marking. LG DA HB6 1865 Q091D014A1. Here are its main specs according to its datasheet. Nominal capacity 1500 mAh, minimum capacity 1400 mAh, nominal voltage 3.65 volts, standard charge current 0.75 amps, maximum charge current 4 amps, charge end voltage 4.2 volts, charge cutoff current 50 mA in case of standard charge and 100 mA in case of fast charge, standard discharge current 0.3 amps, maximum discharge current 30 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 2.0 volts. Maximum weight 48 grams. The weight of my cell is 43.14 grams. Pay attention to the discharge cutoff voltage of this cell. It's 2.0 volts versus 2.5 volts in case of HP4. At 0.2C or 0.30 amps, HB6 gave out 16.03 mAh or 58.99 milliwatt hours. At 5 amp, 14.55 milliamp hours or 50.93 milliwatt hours. At 10 amp, 14.77 milliamp hours or 49.42 milliwatt hours. 
At 15 amp discharge rate, the result was 1495 milliamp hours or 4806 milliwatt hours. At 20 amps, 1506 milliamp hours or 4611 milliwatt hours. Let's compare the results of HB4 and HB6 at 5 amp discharge rate. As you can see, uh, the result of HB6 is much better than that of HB4. 1455 milliamp hours versus 1401 mAh. hours. But uh, keep in mind that the discharge cutoff voltage of the HB6 is much lower, 2.0 volts versus 2.5 volts in case of HB4. But if we discharge the HB6 down to 2.5 volts, the result would be 1435 milliamp hours, which is also better than 1401 milliamp hours. At 10 amp discharge rate, the difference is even bigger, uh, 1477 milliamp hours versus 1408 milliamp hours, and the winner is HB6. At 15 amp discharge rate, the difference keeps on rising, and the result of HB6 is 1495 milliamp hours versus 1402 milliamp hours in case of HB4. At 20 amp discharge rate, the difference between HB4 and HB6 is 110 milliamp hours. HB6 gave out 1506 milliamp hours versus 1396 milliamp hours given out by HB4. So obviously the winner is the HB6 because it has lower discharge cutoff voltage and even a 2.5 volt cutoff its capacity is much higher compared to the HB4. So that's all for today, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel and look forward for new reviews. Bye bye.